Hello and welcome to my attempt at this week's BBO Weekly Free Instant Tournament. Um, my aim in these videos is to try and show you how to think about playing a hand um, and particularly how to count the hand. And something that I've said in the course of my previous lectures is um, it's much easier to count five, sixes and sevens and fours than it is to count to 13. So the basic first part of the technique is see how many cards you and dummy have between you, take that away from 13 and that's the number your opponents have and they can split in various ways. Um, you can, one possible way of short circuiting that process is to just have in mind all the different ways that 13 can be divided into four different groups. Um, that sounds like it's quite a lot, but really there aren't. Um, there's four, four, three, two, five, three, three, two, four, three, three, three. Um, they're the most common ones. After that, you're going to get to five, four, two, two, five, four, three, one, um, four, 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 one, which is not as common as people think it is. Um, and then you're into six card suits. Um, and you can have, obviously, you can have. 6511, 6520, 6430, um, and 6331, 6223. Um, so, but yeah, they get rarer and rarer. And if you just remember the few um, common ones so that you don't have to do the sums, then that can speed things up as well. Um, I know that when we teach beginners, we don't want them to learn things by rote, but if you actually learn the way in which 13 cards can be divided into four off by heart, that will speed up the process greatly because it, not only is it um, how you, the shape of your hand, um, you have four suits and 13 cards, it's how each individual suit is divided around um, the four hands. So it comes in useful in two different ways. So um, it's well worth learning. Anyway, on to this week's hand. And we're starting with a 16 count. And this is a 5332, which counts as balanced. And so the robot opens this one no trump. Two diamonds is a transfer to hearts, and with the robot, this is normally a sign off, um, not 100%. Um, it has, you can do other things if you have a maximum and four card support, but if you don't, you just bid. Two hearts, and now the robot's gone and invited us, inviting us to either game. So they've got nine high card points and five hearts. Well, we've got three hearts with them. We've got 16 points. So we've got 25 points. My points are in my long suits. I mean, well, I'm not, spades is not a long suit, but I've got points and diamonds. But the crucial thing is there are no wasted values in my double turn. This is a, a pretty good 15 points. And so I'm going to go to four hearts. All right, let's see what nine points are robot's going to put down. Right, well, here we are. We've got no club losers. We've got no spade losers. Um, we've got two heart losers and we've got the risk of having two diamond losers, but that's from looking at it from the point of view of my hand. If we look at the point from the view of the dummy, it's got two heart losers, got no spade losers, and throw a diamond on the spade. If you rough the club, um, then you're, and throw a diamond on the spade, 
you're only going to have most one diamond lose and you might have none if the finesse succeeds. And that's, it's usually better to look at it from the point of view of the long trump hand. And normally that's your hand as declarer. But when you've gone through a transfer sequence, um, it's the dummy that's the long trump hand. So um, Queen of Hearts, probably from Queen Jack. I don't think it's going to be a singleton. Um, you'll notice that um, I've got Queen Jack 10, 9, 8 all in sequence. So these are, you know, they can only rough this by over rough this by eight by um, with the king or ace, which they're going to make anyway. So I think the first thing to do is, I don't think my king of clubs is going to get roughed. So I think the rope, if that were a singleton, this, the robot here would have had a seven card club suit and they might have done something if that were the case. So now I'm going to leave the seven of clubs and rough it. And I don't mind if it gets, well, it's not getting over rough because this hand was in front. This is the hand that was short. Um, I've roughed with the 10 here just because it makes the whole entry position more flexible. I can, you know, the eight, nine, 10, Jack, Queen are all equals. But if I want to overtake to get an entry to one particular hand, I can always do that. Um, we had eight trumps, so they had five. They normally split three, two, but they might be four, one, which might create some difficulties for me. But um, I'm going to leave the eight of hearts because I quite like to duck it. There's the king. I'm going to play the spade. And discarded a spade earlier. Um, I don't think they're short in spades and clubs. But we'll... Wow, so hearts are 4 1. Um, so I couldn't afford to overtake the jack with the queen. Um, the spades don't get roughed. Oh, right, and now basically I've got to give up on the diamond finesse. There's still yet. The kings appear. Fortunately, well, they won the king, but now they've got to lead this heart round to win with the nine. Um, queen of hearts win their ace. And now they play the diamond. So this probably won't be very good. 57% for making four hearts, but four hearts plus one. If I'd taken the diamond finesse earlier, um, that would probably have been a lot better. Let's just have a quick look at the other tables. Not many people managed to do that. Um, a couple of that and three now Trumps scored better um, because we made the same number of tricks. So I should have foreseen the entry problems if Trump's were 4 1 and uh, taken the diamond finesse earlier when I was in dummy. Right, let's move on to board two. Um, this is a nice, powerful hand. Two, four, six, seven diamonds and five clubs. And 16. 19 points, including the Singleton King of Spades, which is of dubious value at the moment. But this is um, I think if I open one diamond, it's unlikely to get passed out. Where are all the hearts to spades? Somebody's going to be bidding. Um, I don't really want this hand is strong enough to open with the two club game forcing bid. But the difficulty with that is partner's going to respond to diamonds and we're likely to play in diamonds. And so it'll get played by the wrong hand, as it were, the weak hand. Um, 
it would be better played by the strong hand and keeping this king of spades hidden. So it must be better to open one diamond um, rather than two clubs. So one spade here, double by partner, which you'll see means that I got four plus. Yeah. So I need to find a forcing bid here. Um, two spades will be forcing, but I think it will promise some hearts. No, just for forcing. Let me see. Two clubs is on you know, two. So two clubs is not forcing. Let's see what three clubs is. So this is forcing to three no trumps. Um, doesn't really get up across the length of my hands, but partner can't pass it. So we'll bid three clubs. The partner now wants to bid three no trumps. They have spades and hearts. I wonder what four no trumps is here. A quantity invite. Well, see, I'm thinking that six no trumps here. If we're not off the ace of spades and ace of hearts, we're probably going to make six no trumps here. Well, I'm pretty sure that it doesn't think that four diamonds, oh, four diamonds is forcing. Does it think four clubs is forcing? Yes, that's forcing as well. Five plus diamonds, twice through the double clubs. There's four diamonds. Doesn't right, so four clubs is my bid. Since that's forcing. Four spades is stop it in spades forcing. Four no trumps is probably just to play now. Oh, no, it's Blackwood for clubs. Right. I really want to know if partner's got the spade ace. But um, it'd be useful to know if he has the club queen, which this will tell me about. So I'm going to bid four in here because that's... So five diamonds tells me they've got one key card. So I can now bid five hearts to ask about the queen of clubs which would be a big card. Six clubs. It says they don't have the queen of clubs. All right. I might have been better than five of the drums. So, but they have promised an ace. I've got the king of spades. They promised a spade stop. So we're not losing two tricks off the top. So I think, so um, because this is match points, um, if I were playing imps teams, I'd settle for six diamonds as being the most likely slam to make. But I think here, because it's match points and no trump scores better, I've got to go the no trumps. I know we're missing an ace. And uh, they've got the ace of hearts. Um, Something is diamonds six, as you can see, six diamonds would have been a much better contract. But this is now this is the hand playing the contract, the north hand, and this is the dummy that they can see. So there's a chance we'll get a spade back here. And we do, and we come to the big decision. Um, we expect the diamonds to come in. We've got nine diamonds between us. They could be four nil, in which case we've got a diamond loser. Otherwise, we're taking seven diamond tricks. Two club tricks makes nine. A spade trick makes ten. And the ace of hearts makes eleven. We've got no entries to get back to dummy. This hand bids spades. We know there are five spades, at least in the west hand, because they overcalled one spade. Um, so far, I've turned up with the ace. The opening lead was the three. But they could have led low. The robot could have led low from three to the jack. 
Um, I could have led the three from three, two. Really, realistically, your only chance of making two full tricks here, well, because even if the Queen of Diamonds, Queen of Clubs comes down in two rounds, the Ten of Club, yeah, you know, the Ten and Nine won't come down as well. So you've got no chance of making all the club tricks. So you've got to throw these three small clubs away. One can go on the Queen of Spades. One can go on the Ace of Hearts, but you need another one. So. The only realistic chance of making it is to hope that West has the Jack of Spades. There's three of Spades lead is a worry, but if I've got three Spades to the Jack, there's no way of making the contract. So we put them the ten. And they do. Now, of course, they play diamonds, so now we're going to go a lot more off. So this will be... A very bad score. I can see what club he's got. This hand's thrown clubs. So this hand's got plenty of them. No point in hanging off the dogs. Or we may as well hang off the two clubs just in case the king is singleton. Doesn't seem much chance of that. We'll just bar two winners, another club, but that probably means there's three in this hand. Yep. And now we've got to guess which card this one has kept. So let's throw it away. And I didn't count carefully enough. Well, that's my fault. I should have counted the spades and the hearts, and I could have got one less off. I don't know that 200 would be a lot better, minus 200 would be a lot better than minus 300. It would not. So you see that six diamonds makes um, six no trumps, does not. Right. So that doesn't get me to a very good position. Um, but I think at match points, you need to push. To, yeah, play no trumps if you can. Perhaps I should have foreseen the entries would be too difficult. Um, right, on to board three. So flat 15 count, it's really not very nice, but the robot's so much better when you open one there, Trump. Two clubs of stamen, so two spades. Maybe four spades, right. Not wonderfully happy about that because I got such a flat hand. Let's hope my partner doesn't. King of clubs led. Right, so here we are. We've got, a, we've got one club loser. We've got one heart loser because we can always wrap a heart in dummy and we've got no diamond losers. When I say we've got one club loser, I can win this with the ace and I'll still have the jack and 10 and I'll just lose to the queen. And um, I don't even, if I get the spades right, even if they're four one, um, don't need to. I need. Don't need any roughs really. So I'm going to take the ace. If the spades are five nil, I want to find out about it by playing one of the ace or queen. Then I can finesse against the jack in either hand. So no, they're not five nil. They might be 4-1. I've got no real indication of which way 
there might be. They did no bidding. So I'm just guessing. And I'm going to, I'm going to play the queen. And the jack drops. So they're three, two. Right. Um, I can't see any way that I can avoid losing a club and a heart now. Um, for this last trump. Um, club. Take the ace of hearts. I can win the next trick. And now I can claim I've got more tricks than I need. So this should be pretty flat. So the standard 57.1%. Somebody's, you know, not in the standard contract. Three no trumps plus two. Three no trumps, three no trumps plus one. So Fairly standard to get to that. Right. One club by north. Right, this could be a three card suit. Um, I've got quite a nice hand here. 14 points. They've got an opening hand, so we're going to game. Um, the I don't raise clubs immediately because they might only have three. I've got if you've got a four card major, you need to bid it because the robot may have a four card major and open one club. I've actually got five card major, so I've definitely got to bid it. Um, you might think about jumping, but the robot plays the two spades would be this Solway jump shift with 17 plus points. I haven't got that. So for the moment, I just bid one spade, which is obviously forcing. So now they've got 12 to 14 points. They don't have um, four spades, but they don't know I've got five. It, I might, it, from their point of view, I might only have four. I need to find a forcing bid to find out more about their hand. I don't really want to play no trumps without some hearts. So I think I'm going to bid two diamonds here, which they play as a particular convention. So if I bid two clubs, that shows a weak hand. Two diamonds is called what's known as new minor forcing. So basically by bidding a new minor suit, I'm telling them to tell me something more about their hand. It's a bit like forcing forcing. Um, so two spades tells me that they've got three spades. Um, I do that rather than saying they've got four hearts, which seems to be foolish, but um, it's what I wanted to hear here. So my next question is, am I going to look for slam because of this distribution? Um, they're not guaranteed to have the queen of clubs. They've only got three spades. No, I think there's too much. They have to have absolutely a perfect hand to do it with no wasted values in hearts. So I'm just going to bid four spades here. Usually the robot puts down the perfect hands now. It does have the queen of clubs, king of spades, but we've got a spade loser and at least one diamond loser. Um, is it sensible to play the ace of hearts at this point and throw a diamond away? Um, it probably is. Right. Well, if spades, we expect spades. We see we've got eight spades, so they've got five. Most times they break 3-2, but if they break 4-1, we can do more about it if it's East that has the four. So for that reason, 
I'm going to play King of Spades. Now the 10 appearing is a crucial card. Um, the uh, that could well be a singleton, in which case um, the Queen and Jack are here. I'm going to play the Four of Spades now. The Jack appears. Right, so that makes me think that that 10 was a singleton. If this hand had played low, I would have put in the nine. Um, so we know this hand's got two trumps left, one of which is the queen. Um, so if we force out the queen, they're going to play a heart and we're going to have to rough. But we can draw the last trump which would give us four tricks. Our four clubs would be eight tricks and the ace of diamonds would be nine. And we'd still be looking for another trick. Um, we would, right? We can make two trumps. So we've got three at the moment. We can make two trumps is five, four clubs is nine, and the ace of diamonds is 10. So we have 10 tricks now. Question is, what's the best way of getting 11? We can only ever throw one diamond away on the fourth round of clubs. So we can never actually get around to roughing a diamond. They can always exit with hearts safely. It does seem like we need to draw their trump. <coughs> Hope they throw away enough hearts and uh, force them for the diamonds. Um, I'm going to play the five of spades. The eight. It was important not to lead the eight and allow them to cover it with the jack. So here comes the heart. Which I'm going to trump. Maybe I should have just discarded the diamond. I now need to draw this last trump. Um, throw a diamond away just in case. Right. Now I need to take my four clubs. Right, well, it sure looks like we're just going to make our 10 tricks. Oh. Eighty-two percent for making four spades. So lots of four spades minus one. I suspect they didn't pay enough attention to the fall of the Ten of Spades and think about how they could deal with a 4-1 break in Spades. Um, that was obviously the crucial step. Almost up to 50% now. So East opens one spade. We're sat here with our 18 counts. We don't have a stop in Spades, so we can't bid no trumps. But we are short in Spades and we have got support for the other three suits. So we have a takeout double. Two clubs from there. Four plus clubs, less than nine points. With nine points or more, um, the robot would have jumped. Um, we know they can't have much more than nine. So they bid two clubs. We've got too much not to go on. Now, if they've got six points, seven points, and a spade stop, um, then we could be making three no trumps. 
we need to ask them to try again. So two spades is forcing to three spades. That just doesn't make sense. Um, I haven't got rebidable diamonds or rebidable hearts. I haven't got a spade stop to bid no trumps. So you'd have thought, I have got the 18 plus points. It's forcing to three spades. Why is it forcing to three spades? Anyway, I'm going to bid two spades and see what the robot says. It might They might bid hearts or diamonds if they got two four card suits. Mm -hmm. So they bid two no trumps. Invitation. So they got four plus clubs, six to eight in points, a likely stop in spades. Well, my jack's going to contribute to a stop in spades. So we can expect to get a spade trick. Three heart tricks is four. A diamond trick is five. Are we likely to make four club tricks? I don't think so. So although this is forcing, I think at pairs, I should pass, despite the fact we may well have 26 points. I can't see nine tricks at the moment. So I'm going to pass. Ah, they pop up with three hearts. That seems a very silly bid by the robot. I wonder if I've got a penalty double available. It's forcing, so they're expecting me to, to take it out. Um, if I double, the robot is going to bid something. because it says forcing. So this is unfortunate. Clearly, I'd like to penalise West. I could pass and we'll collect some 50s as a plus score. I could bid three no trumps. The robots do some funny things in defence. This hand having bid hearts, we may find that we well, the east hand switches to hearts after winning their spades and may give us a chance to set up some clubs. The robot bidding hearts obviously gives us a better chance that my partner's values are in the diamond length are in the minor suits. Oh well, I think I'm going to bid 3M since I can't extract a penalty. I still think I'm it's quite likely I've only got eight tricks available. Ah, but the robot leads hearts. Right, so we've got four heart tricks. Um, we need them to play spades to give us a spade trick. Clubs are not wonderful, nor are diamonds. And the fact that they've got two um, spade tricks means I can't give up too much in the minors. They didn't really have six to eight points, did they? Um, well, the Jack of Hearts is the only entry to dummy. I think if I lead a low club, West is going to go up with their honor, an honour if they've got one. I've got entries to my hand, so I've got to keep the jack of hearts as an entry. Just see what happens by a club. Right, I'm hoping that the East robot, now obviously they're playing spades, which is good because they're going to set me up a spade trick for sure. Now it's the 10. Um, I need to have an entry to dummy, 2.5. I got to switch to clubs. That's interesting.
I don't think he's led away from the King of Clubs. I think the King of Clubs is in this hand. So, but the Jack of Hearts remains an entry to dummy. Oh, well, I got that wrong. Um, nevertheless, I've only lost two tricks. I'm worried about the diamond switch. If uh, after the spade here, I'm giving up the spade trick. Although I didn't take their spade trick, right? Okay, so I've got three tricks. I could make three hearts. That's six. The ace of diamonds is seven. Well, I'm going to set up my club trick now. Now, oh, I've cashed their ace of spades. So my only problem is the lack of entries. Um, actually, remember, they can't see the north hand, but they can work out that they've still got a spade winner. As, as I thought, the queen of diamonds comes now. And that kind of scuppers my chances of three no trumps. I thought three no trumps was not. the right place and it wasn't. I should go with my instincts. I might as well collect these three tricks and hope that the rest has to win the diamond and doesn't have two diamonds. I do have two diamonds. So that was not a success. It's still worth 46%. But maybe I should just have taken the plus in three hearts minus four. That was by us, minus 400. So if the other ones had played in three hearts their way, just passed it out, I would probably have collected 200 plus and got a top. All right. Okay. So that was a bit of bad judgment on my part. I think I should put it. I was right to reject three no trumps the first time. I should have rejected it the second time and just settled for collecting some fifties. Oh, this is a not very nice 12 count, but a robot system. You've got to open it. One no club, heart from there. The robot expects me to bid my spades here rather than one no trump. Three spades. So the robot is showing 10 to 12 points. Four plus hearts, four plus spades. It's really clubs that are the key to making 10 tricks. But we don't really have enough points, so I'm just going to pass. Even though there's some chance of making. But the robots found the best lead to start with. Um, it's going to stop me playing the cross rough. Um, so what do I want? On. I'm going to set, try it. And set up some diamonds maybe two diamond finesses are wrong 75 percent of the time at least one of the diamond finesses will be right i'm going to draw my trumps just make sure i don't cross rough um i need entries to my hand so All right, so I haven't got any more trumps. I'm going to ten of diamonds now. I'm going to run that, and it won. Ah, right, so I'm getting closer. Let's 
So let's see what the heart's position is since I'm in my hand. The other thing I have to do is lean towards the king of hearts. The robot very often goes up with the ace in this position. They would split the queen jack if they hadn't. Would they cover it with the nine? I think they probably would cover the eight with the nine. Um, maybe they wouldn't. I'm going to run the eight and see what this hand does. Mm -hmm. And the, inevitably, the five of clubs comes. If I finesse the queen and lose, I'm down straight away. So I'm not going to. I'm not sure what the jack means, but I'm going to play a heart and on see what happens. The queen appears. Being on, obviously the ace is coming there, and the five of hearts is coming. Right, so I don't believe this hand's led away from the jack. We just got to hope that the jack is dropping here. Um, otherwise, we're one off. It did lead away from the jack. Oh well, foolish robot play. Bet we'll find the club finesse would have been right. But, uh, Two diamonds are good from a long time ago. Other oh, words, that was three. That one wrong as well. I forgot that the king of diamonds was still out, but I'd made one that one. Right, 100. That's worth 53% because it's par for the course. People in four spades minus two. But, uh, people in four spades minus three as well. Passing it out is worth 92%. Great. Forward seven. Let's see if we can get above 50%. Um, so six, five, two, zero is our shape with 13 points. This is a big hand, really. We'll start with a spade. Two spades from here, which gives the description five plus hearts, actually five hearts and a five card minor suit. So they've got that hand. So they've got five hearts, we've got five hearts. So competitive raise seven to nine to points, three plus spades. I've really got hope they've got four. We should be able to rough some hearts there. But the danger is we could get over roughed in the east hand because east has more of their spades. If north has four spades, I'm quite confident in making four spades. If we've only got three, I'm much less confident. Let's see. Oh, I got four very little ones. There's a fairly good chance that this hand has three of them. But the King of Hearts is a wonderful card. All right. So we've got one club loser. We've got some heart losers, but we should be able to trump them. They're the only things we need to trump in dummy. And we should be able to draw some trumps. Oh, we'll rough this with the eight of spades. Just keeping two low ones, just in case I need to lead spades to get into dummy sometime later. So what 
one thing to think about is that this hand has at least, West has at least five hearts, and I have five hearts. That's 10, dummy has two, that's 12. So East only has one, and there's not a reason why West couldn't have six hearts. Um, so there, Michael's cubid of two spades. In which case, my, playing for the king of hearts would get it rough. So I think that I'm going to play ace of spades. If this had, had king jack x, um, I'm not really losing out at all. They always have got one spade, and then I will have to cross the dummy. Um, I could cross the dummy, the ace, finesse the queen, but that might lose to singleton king. I think, all in all, there's more safety in playing the ace of spades and seeing what happens. All right. Spades are. 3-1, King Jack. Right. Oh, I'm inclined to let them have the King Jack of Spades, not to try and to use. What? And I follow. So they, we know that they're not going to follow to this heart, but. A rough, a loser. Good, but I've just got one spade winner now. Two of clubs comes. Three. Uh, ace. Sure, they're going to rough this and cash their club. But now I'm dry. I haven't got any more trumps, I can rough the nine of hearts. So I can claim making a contract. But probably, yeah, a lot of people making over tricks because they can rough the king of hearts and finesse in spades and make an over trick and some people made two over tricks by taking two finesses um my lines undoubtedly right if you're playing teams in scoring and making the contract is what is most important but maybe at match points i should risk the contract by crossing to dummy for a finesse of the ten of spades there's, there's always a reasonable chance that the spades are three nil when we know that there are ten cards in hearts in a minor in the West Ham. So we need quite a good score to get above fifty percent this week. Um, East has opened one diamond. I've just got flat thirteen count. Um, when you have this kind of weak no trump hand, you can really only double if they've opened your minor, your doubleton. So if they'd opened one heart, I'd have been quite happy to make a takeout double. But I can't double one diamond because partner will bid hearts and that could be a disaster. Um, and I don't have enough points to overcall one no trump, so I've just got pass for now. And is partner going to pass it out? No, partner bids one no trump. This is a bouncing no trump. They've passed originally, so they've only, they can't have more than 11 high card points. So you've got exactly 11 high card points. Um, I've got 13, 24, four, you know, not that bad at all, team, but. Um, once again, if we're in teams, I'd probably be three no trumps, but I'm just going to pass here. And we might collect 150. 
they lead hearts. Um, so remember again, um, they can see this south hand. This is the dummy. Um, they can't see the north hand. Mm, the eight of hearts is going to be fairly crucial here. I'd like to see it appear. I don't think there's any point in ducking that. I don't really want to switch because I'm going to clear the play clubs now to um, set them up. They may want to cash their hearts, but if they do, it will give me another heart trick. So I've got plenty of entries to dummy. Uh, I'm just going to keep play diamonds now. They're not breaking that badly. I've taken the ace, so I've got two diamonds. Now comes the queen of hearts, nine. They play another heart, it'll set up ten. So they don't. Well, a crucial thing is to try and lose the trick to the east hand. Because if West gets in and leads a heart through the ten, they can make the jack and another one. So we assume the jack is in the east hand. They've led from king, queen, jack, and another. So, and the eight of hearts hasn't appeared. Remember I said that was a crucial card. Um, so the, the eight of card, if this hand now has jack eight of hearts, we can't afford to let West need it. So I'm going to play a spell. And now I'm going to take a club finesse into this hand. And they're not going to let me. Right. So I've got to have this hand's got the king of clubs. Um, I'm going to. Cash my winning diamond and lead the ten of clubs. And the king is there, so my ten of hearts is safe. Um, right, and so to the seven of clubs with that, and I've got two winning cards on the table, so I'm going to make my nine tricks. So I thought I might. 150, 28.6%. Sorry, no. 78%. So it got me above 50%, but not a good score. Overall, I've done well to win this one. The winner got 91.96%. But um, So my, obviously my really bad score is six no trumps minus three. Probably I should have realized that the entries were gonna be such a problem that I needed to play it in diamonds. Um, and that would have been enough to get a good score. That was worth, well, oh, would have been worth six diamonds is worth 57%. They don't cash their spade, you get 89. Right, and uh, not playing for the over tricks in four spades was the other bad thing. Um, and probably not passing earlier on the three no trump, just collecting the penalties in against them on that hand when they bid hearts mistakenly. <coughs> so, um, I think there were three mistakes there. Otherwise, I could have been up at the 67% of second place. I still wouldn't be getting 91% of winning. Anyway, I hope there were some useful hints there, um, despite there being only um, one really big score. Um, I think the others were all sensible plays, apart from the ones that I've said. Um, so please do like this if you have found it useful, so I keep on doing it, and um, I'll see you next week.